Tonight, Hilton Head native Josephine Wright has been laid to rest. We've been following the 94 year old's fight to keep her family's land since last June. The legal battle went on to make national headlines, gaining support from movie stars and NBA pros. WJCL's Kyra Naveau shares a look at the celebration of Wright's life and her loved one's push to keep her legacy alive. Ms. Wright could do anything. A full sanctuary at the Mount Calvary Baptist Church for Josephine Wright's celebration of life. She had a can-do attitude out of this world. Um, she never complained. I've never heard her complain and she just got things done. The Hilton Head Island matriarch made headlines in June for fighting back against developers. And she was a strong fighter. And for that, she started, it's really like a movement because now more people will stick up and fight for what's theirs because of what she did and the strength that she had at her age. She didn't like injustices. Okay. She was very big on injustices. So when it came to things like that, even though she stood 4'11", she would stand six, seven feet tall. The three ladies on your screen are Urena, Tracy, and Tawana. They are Wright's granddaughters. They emphasize their grandmother taught them to fight for what they believe in. She silently fought her entire life. Mm -hmm. She fought for everything she believed. She fought for her family. She fought for righteousness. The home of Josephine Wright is behind me. Her fight to keep her home and her land against developers here on Hilton Head Island brought her to the attention of the nation and even filmmaker Tyler Perry. He pledged to build her a new home and he still plans to do that even after her passing. He says this is to keep her legacy alive on the island. Tyler Perry is making good on his commitment and he is finishing completing the landscaping and building the family home. So we will have that sanctuary she spoke of. Right. On Hilton Head Island, I'm Kyron Naveau.